Good evening. Just got back home from um, the photo shoot that I've been doing. Um, done the family of the Thomas family down in Lear, near Lutterworth. And um, they've already put some of the photographs, untouched, unedited photographs, but what the heck. Uh, I've got to clean some of them up with spots and bits. <laughs> um, and I got some pasta and meatballs for tea, which is lovely. I'm so pleased today. I've lost seven and a half pounds in two weeks at Weight Watchers. Uh, so I've got three stone to go and uh, I'm really chuffed. Um, I feel better in myself today. I've been told off again by a certain person who's on their third surreptitious mention on these diaries. I've also um, been slagged off now as um, a former lesbian as well, which um, <laughs> my dad always said he was a lesbian because he liked women. But <laughs> I have loads of friends who are gay and I absolutely adore them. And I have been called a lesbian without the sex. <laughs> but for somebody who has... Um, has only had heterosexual relationships. Um, um, I find it quite illuminating, actually. But there you go. Um, maybe that's why the frog prince um, left me. <laughs> maybe he found out that I was a lesbian, really, and didn't like men. Anyway, <laughs> I'll stop being facetious and um, just say, so, more update today. I've kept myself busy. It's um, half past ten in the evening um, and um, I just want you to, to know that um, I accept I'm putting myself out there for criticism doing the Froglet Diaries, but I was had a wonderful message by um, a lady involved with the press again today and um, she made me feel that many women in particular are going to benefit from this and it is very noticeable that the um, aggression and the, the vitriol has been testosterone based so far um, but there's also interestingly been a lot of support by some very nice men out there men who are obviously in touch with both their masculine on their feminine side, and those are the men we want to encourage, not the um, the alpha male who is going to, um, you know, um, possibly be more likely to let us girlies down. Um, the ones that were kind of like vitriolic and a bit like um, scornful. I do wonder if 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 uh, you know, as they don't seem to see this as as kind of like the truth or fair on the bloke. Um, whether they're more likely, that's why maybe men sometimes have affairs in particular. I mean, I don't know, I know women have affairs as well, um, each to their own. But for me, the most precious gift I could give any man that I was with was my love and my body and to be intimate with them, not just physically, but mentally as well. And when that trust is broken and that gift is completely shattered and smashed, it is very difficult to make the gift priceless again. And what happens with the gift then is, if you can make it better, it will always be slightly chipped or slightly tarnished. And that's okay sometimes, but wouldn't you love to just have somebody that treasured that gift as you did? I would. Good night.